Hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to The Tourist. I wasn't planning on doing these videos, but I've had quite a few questions and the recent videos I've done have been the most successful videos I've ever done in my life. So I'm more than happy to make a couple more. So this one, I'm going to basically show you the end game puzzle. Um, a few people have said they're stuck once they've got to this point. So there is obviously huge spoilers here. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to run through the end of the game and show you how to do the last couple of bits. Right, so once you're at this stage and you're actually inside the spaceship, you're going to need to use the coordinates that came out of the console in the middle to find the anti-grav lift. Um, that seems to be where people are getting stuck. They don't know where to go. So we're going to do it now. All right, so you want to travel from the rocket to Soggy Island. Um, and you're going to head up the stairs and go to the right and find the pilot. He's just going to ask you... Uh, if you've got any coordinates you want to go, you obviously just say yeah. So I'll skip the uh, helicopter journey and I'll meet you when we get out. Right, so when you get out the helicopter, you're going to be on an island with a monument. And there's a bit of a puzzle here. That photo also counts towards your picture it quest. Um, I've done a full guide on that, so if you need to know where all the pictures are, just uh, check out my other videos, I'll link them below. But for this puzzle, you want to jump on top, grab the ladder, grab the lantern, drop down and just collect all these balls of light. Just run into them while you're holding the lantern and you'll like scoop them up, they'll follow you. I think I missed a couple, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. So yeah, you can see here I'm trying to do the puzzle now but then I realised that there's uh, a couple more that I missed. So make sure you've got all of them, or it won't work. These are the last two. And then on top of the building, there's a T-shape. So what you want to do is copy the T-shape, but into the shadow. So you run from that point to that point, and then down, make the shape of a T, and that will actually open the door to the monument. Okay, so in here, you're just going to collect all the coins to activate the next part. And then you need to stand on these stones. And when you stand near the edge of them, it like tilts them as they move. So you use the corners to kind of move them where you want. And you just drop them on top of these lights. And then to do the last one, you just stand on it with your actual character. Because there isn't a slab to uh, cover that one. There we go, so now we're just going to drop down the hole and make our way down this uh, little path. This bit had me stuck for quite a while. Um, you'll notice there's gold on the floor. It's the same as the uh, gold on the beach achievement where you have to find the uh, gold. This will probably count towards that achievement if you've not done it yet, but I do have a guide for that as well if you're uh, not sure what to do to get that achievement but obviously if you've not got it yet you can just do this so you just want to run around on top of those gold um to get them to come out the floor and that'll actually drop this thing in or activate this thing and then again you just want to ride it um and you just want to make your way over to the wall at the uh top there and use the platform to jump through the wall Okay, this bit's kind of annoying. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it the way you're supposed to do it, but it's all I could get to work. It seems a bit weird that this would be the puzzle, but it does work how I do it. It's just kind of fiddly. So you just want to get both of the blocks up here and kind of weigh down this um, platform. As I said, if anyone's found a different way to do this, please drop it in the comments below because this doesn't seem right. Um, it's really strange. Like, the physics of it are quite bad. It's not very well done if this is the actual solution. But you just want to basically wedge the blocks in the corner against the wall 
and then just jump um, near them and kind of weigh it down a bit more and you'll see the door lights up um, but as you can see if the rocks fall off it um, skips out of the way so this bit's a bit fiddly like I said but if you just watch you'll see how I do it I basically just do the same thing you just need to get the rocks to stay on the uh, thing long enough to keep the beam gone so there we go I think it flicks on and off a few times and then you just want to block the other one with your actual character so you'll see once the uh there we go so yeah that's how i did that all right so this is the end of the uh monument this is the last part we need to do we basically just want to use these squares to cover the beams like we have been doing um to make it easier though, you can block the last one with your character because it does get kind of annoying. So I just use two of the platforms to block two of the beams and then just jump on the last one. It's a lot easier. Um, it does get kind of annoying. It kind of like just gets in your way more than anything. Um, and you have to do it three times. So and each time it gets a little bit like more annoying and these rocks will start dropping down so it might take you a few tries but it is it's not that bad it is doable um and yeah i definitely like i said suggest just using two to uh, cover the squares and yourself to cover the last beam i thought that was a pretty good tip and there we go he's down so once you've defeated him he will drop the grab lift um and that's what we came for that will actually power up the spaceship um, at this point we're just going to return to the spaceship and i'll show you what to do okay so we're back at the spaceship and this is obviously on the first island you should know where this is it's on tourist island i think it's called um and yeah you just have a conversation with the old tourist this is basically the end of the game like the, the you can end the game right here if you haven't done your to-do list to 100%, you can say you don't want to leave and just carry on working at it. Again, if you're trying to do the to-do list and you're stuck on something, I've probably done a guide for it already. And if I've not, drop me a comment and I can help you. Um, I've run through this game twice now to 100%, so no way around quite well. Um, and yeah, you just put the uh, grav lift in the console and then he'll ask you to sit in the chair. Um, and as I said, you can choose to lift off or choose to carry on towards your 100%. So there's not really much else for me to show you. It's all pretty straightforward for me. So I'll uh, end the video here. I just want to say thanks again to everybody that's been watching my videos the past few days. Um, my subscribers have doubled like overnight. My views are going crazy. I usually get around 30 views at most. And some of these videos are just going crazy. So... Thank you so much to every single person that's watched the video and everyone that subscribed. You've literally made my day. Um, I was so happy yesterday when I woke up and saw all the subs. Um, it just motivates me to make more videos. I mean, I've always done this for the love um, of just the games. I just love playing games, but to have the support there is just amazing. So thank you so much to everybody. Um, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.